Hi, Mark. Hi. I was so excited to see a new season of Father Brown, although I was surprised about all the new faces this season. How did that come about? Well, we've we've changed before. We've had different inspectors and um, various people have come and go. So it's just that that's is don't we you know 10 years is a long time for people to commit to one project so people move people have got other things to do and it's healthy like you know like all families you need new blood every now and again i love that we got to see lady felicia and inspector sullivan again he was my favorite inspector i'd always hoped he'd come back is is there a character that you'd like to see return um, yeah, Nick Moran, who's a friend of mine, an actor, played a um, a slightly crooked scrap dealer, and I'd like to see him back. I liked him. I'd like to see him come back as a millionaire. I've pitched it, but um, I don't think anybody's bitten yet. <laughs> I love that model village in the first episode. Was that made for the show? No, um, it was my idea to use a model village. I said it would be great, macro micro. Um, um, no. It was quite a fashion, particularly during the 30s in this in England, and there are a few, um, and they and the kids love them. You know, they're tiny little villages, and a lot of it, the people who kind of built them were the same kind of type who got who got really involved and and very particular, and and they're lovely things. You know, they're lovely things to walk around. Yes, exactly. I've seen Maduro Dom in Holland and it was just amazing. So I was like, wow, this is just like that. Yeah. Did you get to keep your figurine? Uh, no, sadly. Oh. Oh, I'm not quite sure why I'd want a figurine of me. You know, I think that people who have things like that, are kind of, they worry me a bit. You're like, okay, it's a statue of you. Why is it in your house? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah. Not my. I, I was watching you get on and off the bicycle. How is it difficult? Is it to ride the bicycle with your priest robes on? Um, I don't. I can't really answer that because I just did it, and and I don't really know how it works. But I just get on and get off. <laughs> I'm not even sure uh, the cassock goes underneath the saddle. I think, but I'm not really sure because I've never watched myself do it. But I just get on and off. But I've always done. Mm -hmm quite a lot of physical work as an actor. It's always been a massive part of it for me. Um, so I, you know, you just solve those problems. As soon as you start making them a problem, they're a problem. If you just do it, they're not. Perfect. That's not really helpful. <laughs> no, because I'm like, oh no, don't let this, don't let the bottom catch on the seat or in the okay. wheels. Uh, yeah, I'm always amazed that you just pop on and bicycle off. Yeah, just go. I quite enjoy it. I enjoy the bike. I like it. It's 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 a fun part of doing it, I have to say. Yeah. Now, how would it? you describe your new castmates, Ruby Mae Martinwood as Brenda and Claudia Blakely as uh, Mrs. Divine? Are they great? Um, well, Mrs. Divine is a widower who's recently widowed, but she's keen on amateur dramatics. And that's been a brilliant, brilliant fun. So we've got an episode where Father Brown gets involved in Shakespeare amateur dramatics in a barn with a murder, of course. And um, Brenda, who's played by Ruby, Ruby May Martinwood, is, um, they met in series nine when she was at an approved school and he rescued her from, um, yeah, he found out, he found out the truth about what had happened. And the, and the same applies in series 10 when she comes back and needs help and Father Brown dives in there and that's a great episode. Uh, and then she comes and works for him. So it's been, it's kind of like a new little nuclear family. Um, and we've had a lot of fun and we're having fun this year as well. So it's great to have them. It comes across on screen. It was a lot of fun to watch. Oh, great. That's good. Now, I know you didn't keep your figurine, but did you, did you have you ever kept anything from the set over the years? No, I've supplied stuff to the set because the books in Father Brown's library, in his study, are, are all, I've, I've made a collection of uh, kind of the things a priest would need in 1953. So they're all date orientated. So there's books on poison and books on the Catholic Church and, and um, guides and um, books on medicine and 
saints and all sorts of stuff. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. It's quite big now, actually. In fact, not all the books, they don't all fit on the shelves. There's some still in boxes. So that's been my contribution. Now, how long does each episode take to film? We take eight days. So that's eight 12 hour days to film each episode, which is not a great deal. So it's about 12 weeks that you're in the Cotswolds? Um, no, we, we're four months here because um, we've, um, it's, it's 17 weeks this week, this year, or 18. Oh, wow. What, what do you do on your time off there? Sleep. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> well, we, often we try and get home, you know, but it's a kind of four-hour journey for me, but that's nothing for you in Canada, is it? Um, but... Um, Always got to be learning lines, of course, and and, and what what the sailors used to call wash kit and mend. I see. <laughs> so, got to do the laundry. Right. <laughs> now, besides Father Brown, you're a very busy actor with several other productions currently either in post or pre-production. Which of those are you most excited about? Um. Well. That's news to me, to be honest, Alexandra. <laughs> um, I've, I, well, I've just finished um, The Effects of Lying, uh, which is, we did it last year, but that's out at the moment. So that's, um, that's a really good film directed by Isha Sahota. So I've got high hopes of that film. That's great stuff. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for chatting with me. I just love Father Brown. I'm always thrilled when there's a new season, and I hope you'll be doing many, many more. Thanks, Alexandra. I hope so too, actually. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now plus the notification bell in the right hand corner so that you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. While you're at it, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.